Hey guys, Kim here. Thank you so much for checking out my video. We have another pearl pour today with the DecoArt Extreme Sheen Amethyst and DecoArt Extreme Sheen Emerald. And I wanted to use these colors this weekend because it was recently my wedding anniversary and these were my wedding colors. So purple and green all the way. That's the consistency of my metallics. And for my pour over paint, I've got my trusty Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. So this is the biggest canvas that I've attempted to do this type of pour on. It's a 15 inch by 30 inch gallery wrapped canvas. So what you see me doing here is just putting some of that Flow Acrylic. It's not diluted, it's straight out of the bottle. I'm just going to paint the sides and the edges here because this type of pour in particular the paints are pretty thin so I don't want the sides to not have any coverage and also the um, paint if it's a little bit wet still on the sides here kind of helps it stick so when you're tilting your paints it doesn't all just tip off onto your mat there so I'm just gonna go ahead and get these sides coated and uh, another tip here, this is a pretty big canvas and I've had it sitting around for a while and the canvas itself, the material kind of got pretty loose. And what I did was I turned it over and I just used a spray bottle and sprayed it pretty liberally. Used my blow dryer and just got it really, really hot and it tightened up. So it's in perfect condition again. So if you have a canvas that you think is maybe unusable because the canvas isn't flat, just spray it with water and blow dry it and it's probably good to go again. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start pouring down my metallics. And if you saw my last pearl pour, I did, um, that was the first time I did kind of an oblong canvas or rectangular canvas. So I'm gonna do the same technique that I did with that one and start kind of off to the side. Um, especially with a canvas this large, I kind of didn't wanna to have to go from the center to all corners and back because I already feel like this is gonna be a heavy canvas for me to try and tilt and it's a lot of area for me to cover quickly, which is what you need to do with this. Um, really the the trick to these, there's really two things, is number one, get your paint consistency correct, and number two, make sure you're using the right amount of paint. And for the first thing, I've done a whole tutorial on it. I will link that above. I've done a tips and tricks video, which I, will, um, I can link that one in the description below. And as for number two, using the right amount of paint, um, I still, honestly, it's kind of magic to me. I don't always know how much paint to use. Um, every time I try a new size canvas, it's kind of a guessing game for me. It's a lot of trial and error. Um, I don't want to tell you guys how many canvases I've wrecked <laughs> trying to do these, but if you want to see how to fix a pearl pour that has gone bad, stay tuned to the end and uh, I'm going to call that one the reverse Dutch pour is how you fix a bad pearl pour. So that will be at the end of this video if you're interested. So back to the current action. So I had my metallics down. I just poured my pour over paint, which is pretty thin. As you can see there, whew, just went right off the side there. And uh, so I'm just gonna tilt this to the uh, close side like I did last time. And then really just stretch everything over to the other side here while I throw my back out trying to keep the mess on the mat instead of getting it all over the place. You don't realize how heavy these canvases are until you're trying to tilt the freaking thing. But uh, the pearls are coming up already so you can see that's a pretty good sign. And so I'm just going to tilt this back uh, the other corner here and uh, just set it down as quick as you can because once those pearls come up you don't want to stretch them anymore otherwise they're going to get oddly shaped so just put it down and then uh, you can torch it and the heat is going to bring up a lot of those metallics that are underneath the black 
and it should happen pretty quickly. So this is a 4x, I believe, time lapse of the cells, and uh, it doesn't take that long for them to surface if they're going to surface. So I will go ahead and uh, show you guys the close-up. So here's the close-up. You can see that section uh, where most of the black paint pools toward the side there has closed up almost completely. And we have a bunch of really cool cells here. Um, I ended up using the two extreme sheen colors, like I said, instead of using... Um, I usually use at least one extreme sheen and maybe one other or two other deco art metallics, but I wanted to use both extreme sheens so that one didn't completely overpower and take over my canvas, kind of like the aquamarine did in my last one. So I'm pretty happy with how even this one turned out. I think it looks pretty cool, and I gotta find somewhere to put this up on my wall. So I hope you enjoyed, and subscribe if you're new here, give me a like, and stay tuned if you want to see my reverse Dutch pour. <laughs> Take care.